Howdy fellow model railroaders, my name is Kevin Brown. I want to thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. As you can probably tell from the title, uh, I've got a lot of time off, like most people in this country with the uh, uh, pandemic uh, raging throughout. Uh, I'm on restricted hours. Uh, what they're doing with us is uh, I work one week, I worked last week and had twice as much stuff to do. And the, uh, the other team will work next week and have twice as much stuff to do. So the, this, this week here I get off, um, so I'm hoping to put a lot of time into the layout, make uh, something good come out of all this. Um, first and foremost, you can see, I mean, as you get lighting up on the, uh, the new section, the uh, Missyapolis and uh, uh, yard sections. So uh, I did that because I couldn't see what I was doing. Uh, so I'd like to give you a quick uh, run through what I've got started now. And I guess my plan for this video is... As the, my week off progresses, I'll try and show what sort of uh, additions I make to my layout with the hopes of uh, getting the uh, entire circuit done even behind, but we'll see how that works. So uh, here, uh, I'll show you what I've got done so far. Foremost, I've managed to put this uh, corner together and uh, permanently put the track down. It was probably the easiest module to uh, complete, at least as track work, so I started there. Um, the, the plan for all this is I'm going to have, I had to add a small section there, 33 millimeters, to shift the entire curve this way so that it'll line up with the shift on the uh, uh, the main uh, modules on Missyapolis. I'll go, I can show that a little better on the uh, Missyapolis modules here in a second. Uh, but pretty standard. Uh, one thing I do to make uh, track spacing easier when putting modules on, this is a uh, simple uh, double track sing, uh, shorty section and when I'm nailing the track in I make sure to put that in so that uh, everything maintains the correct spacing it's a pretty good little uh, uh, trick so uh, okay so that's uh, what's going on with this one now we'll take a quick peek over at Missyapolis and see what needs to be done modules that have to be completed uh, in order to work on the uh, bridge section because I need to know the exact dimensions of everything before I can start on the bridge section. I'm going to have to at least temporarily nail down all the track on all three of these modules. Now, I don't know if you can see from here, but I've marked out where the three tracks that are important. This is going to be the yard lead, which is why I, had, I wanted to have that on there nice and solid. It'll loop into the yard back here. Um, this is why everything had to shift 33 millimeters, which is the, the standard track width for a uh, Kato Unitrack. So this one I'm not going to put in right now, but I need to put the mains, what we call the red line and the yellow line, all the way through and to the hole down there in the wall. Um, so that's kind of my next uh, project. It'll also require some... Uh, Holes being drilled so I can drop some power leads. Some of these I can reuse. Some I, I don't have anything. So that's kind of the next project, next stage of this next stage of this project. So stay tuned and see how it all works out. Well, I got all the track temporarily in for both the both the main lines, going all the way to the through the wall. Decided to put some re railers at, right at the wall, and I left some space here for backboard so uh, I'm pretty happy with all that worked out now surprise surprise try not to do anything crazy the gap here I was planning on having to cut down a standard uh, masterpiece modules three foot uh, module but it looks like the uh, I can just use one intact I don't think I'll have to alter it at all it'll mean that these modules along this wall are set back a little further on the benches I made for them. Uh, two inches uh, back instead of one. But I've got plenty of room there. Um, it should work out just fine. And it will definitely simplify trying to get across that gap. So that's the next project. We'll see how long it takes. All right, I've got the new bridge slash lift out section, at least the module built. As you can see, it's only half as deep as the as the regular modules, which should be plenty, just enough to do three tracks across. Uh, one's going to be the continuation of the yard lead, 
And then uh, the other two are going to be the mains, which is going to include a crossover. Figure might as well put it up here, give it a little more uh, room. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the next part of the project. I'm pretty pleased with the way that all turned out. And it didn't really push my other modules back very notice noticeably further. So that's where we're at. I'll work on this next. Oh, and uh, as a way of uh, remind a few things. First off, you can see on my incredibly messy table, I bought a bunch of lumber. That's going to be used to finish the... Uh, staging yard area back behind there and so I got that done but uh, right now the I feel pretty comfortable going outside if I have to uh, and the other thing of course is today's April 1st April Fool's Day on some levels also the second anniversary of me being in YouTube and I look all around me at all what I've put together and accomplished in the last two years and had the joy of sharing it with you guys Guys and gals. So, yep. Yeah. All in all, pretty good day. So here we are. This is uh, my last day off before Monday. And here is the bridge liftout section. All track all nailed down. Except for the uh, yard lead. We'll go there. And you can see all wired up. So that uh, that was a little bit of work to do that, but uh, I'm really glad the way it, uh, it fits very nicely the, between the gap there. And in, in addition, I managed to, so you can see, stuff the wiring harness. Uh, at least I've got an ad hoc wiring harness through so that all the modules on the layout have power. So I can run in this big U-shape. Uh, I did not get... The work on the far side of the wall over there, the uh, 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 staging yard, uh, that'll, I'll have to wait for that. And that'll be my next big project. But I did manage to get done here, these three modules here, a single and two doubles, two triples, excuse me, that is going to be the yard, the uh, Blair yard. So that's all done and uh, completed and painted and ready to rock. So I managed to get quite a lot done. I'm pretty happy with how everything went, so let's do a quick uh, run around the layout and try not to run it off the ski jump at the end. Now that I get a chance to see everything for real, rather than just things drawn on a paper or in my imagination, I really like the size of this. Uh, I'm very pleased. So, uh, again... It's starting to feel a little more real now. And I'm hoping it'll be a, a nice layout that'll keep me busy and happy for a long time to come. That's the, that's the goal, anyway. So that's kind of the progress. Cool stuff. So there you have it. That's what I managed to get done in a week of time. Uh, I also, in that time, uh, managed to get the uh, the deck furniture out, get the yard mowed, and get that, all the spring stuff ready, and uh, got into a couple good books, which I don't do enough reading. So all in all, it's been a very nice week off. Um, I wish I could have gotten the uh, the staging yard done, but there, there's a plenty of time for that. Um, this is the point in the video where I usually talk about what's going on with my group, the N scale of Bloomington Normal. I can sum it up pretty easy with the word nothing. Uh, show, uh, all the shows that I'm aware of up until October, September, September, have all been canceled. Uh, so uh, who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully we won't be under uh, some sort of lockdown much, much longer. Uh, but and I, I imagine we as a group will probably get together just to run some trains just to do it. Uh, but that's in the future. For the moment, we're all, uh, at least in the state of Illinois, still under stay-at-home orders. Uh, I, I have to go back to work tomorrow. I have no idea exactly what's going on there. In the time, <clears throat> excuse me, time that I've been making this video, uh, the governor extended the uh, stay-at-home orders from the what next Tuesday all the way to the end of the uh, month of April. So how my work is going to react to all that, I'll find out tomorrow. 
I'd be willing to bet I'm going to get some more time off. Um, and I've got things stacked, uh, everything stashed in stock, I should say, to work on that over there if I do get some more time. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I wish that I had, was under better circumstances that I got a week to work on my layout. But I got a week and I got a lot done. Uh, so I hope you guys are all staying safe. And I hope uh, everything's working out with you, getting some chances to work on your layouts, at least some of you. So, uh, as with always, if you like what you saw here, please hit like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching.